Alright, so yesterday, the wife was riding around on a flat tire. She didn't even know it. Um, I kept wondering why this tire kept losing air. And I think I figured it out. So, yes, the tire is destroyed. There's no question about that. But the reason why I believe the tire is destroyed is because there is a well joint here and there's a crack so someone in the past repaired this tire and the repair didn't hold up it's got a new crack in it and the tire even though I sealed it kept losing air so as a result I gotta buy a new tire and possibly buy a new rim or repair this rim just gonna see which one makes sense so I'm trying to get the the part number of this room and any information applicable to getting a new one. But anyway, once I get it fixed or in the process of getting it fixed, I'll keep you guys updated. Alright, so to continue my saga and my tire situation, I went to a local, well, I called my local tire shop, which is around the corner, and I asked them how much could I get a 265, 35, 20 for in, the, in this Nitto brand, the G2, and he told me it was going to be 369 which is terribly uh, expensive considering that I looked on Tire Rack's website and tire rack has this tire for 250 so i'm gonna go ahead and order um two for the back and just replace both two and see how that works all right so this tire right here was pretty much near the end of life but it had a little bit of life left to it um before it defect habit it kind of had this little this little area right here where it it kind of was worn unevenly so I'm gonna go ahead and replace both back tires I can't stand replacing one tire on the car it just doesn't make sense to me all right this is just a typical typical razor blade so as you can see here um, not not much left like really not much left to this tire These are my tires, y'all. Getting these bad boys in here. So I got some Yokohamas. Getting ready to put on here. And this is the, the new rim. Got this new rim here. Uh, protecting this rim so I'm gonna leave it in here because I'm about to go take it to the tire shop but I can tell that this is the right rim yeah
They like to roll. They like to roll. I see that. Good gracious. Let me close this door quick. Put it in there. You can do it. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to get some new tires for the old girl. So she's at 118,000 miles. Dude, I honestly don't remember the last time I got these tires put on here now that I'm riding on. I think it was somewhere around, let me see. It had to be around maybe 80,000. So I probably got a good, got a good 40,000 miles on these tires. Plus or minus a little bit. And they're not actually 100% slap worn out, but the, the trade is pretty low. So um, I got a whole new set for a pretty good price, like 600, 700 bucks with tax for a whole new set of uh, low profile Yokohamas. So I'm uh, pretty good with that going to get them put on today all right y'all so as a resolution i got these brand new um yokohama i think it's called uh advan so yokohama's on here and i ended up having to get uh, a new rim a beautiful new rim on here and uh as you can see, this is the old rim. It is done. Toasted. So, um, all four corners. I got these Advans, and uh, they so far, they're pretty nice. I'm loving them. Here we go. So, yeah. Uh, nice fitment. Good profile. Uh, it's a good, comfortable tire. It's pretty sticky. So, uh, yeah. That's the word.